I'm Ariana Kaiser, and you're watching Week Bite. North Korea has now called for direct talks with the U.S., which should be pretty tricky because they speak two entirely different languages. Two New Yorkers are dead after possible exposure to E. coli from contaminated beef, said one spokesperson for the American swine community. See? It's the cows that are the problem! Leave us swine alone! Kill the cows! A New Hampshire restaurant has set a world record by cooking a 222-pound meatball. It's all part of their plan to add a 100-foot-long sub to their menu. The sandwich will cost you $1,599, but you can add chips and a drink for only $250. An Oregon man has pleaded guilty to a hit-and-run after hitting a woman in a giant orange rabbit costume, which proves once again what we all learned in driver's ed. It never pays to dress as roadkill. The wealthiest Americans are upset that the latest health reform plan targets them for new tax increases. And when billionaires are sad, it makes baby Jesus cry. Shame on you, Washington. A Colorado man was able to rescue his cell phone from a garbage dump by dialing his own number and listening for the ring. After fishing the phone out of an old tire full of coyote feces and maggot-eaten rats, the man kissed his phone and declared himself the luckiest fellow alive. Five Shanghai transvestites have been arrested for drugging men's food and then robbing them blind. God, jeez, I mean, what are we coming to where we can't even trust tranny hookers who live in a city named after a style of kidnapping? It breaks my heart. A new study shows that thinking negatively can improve your memory. Great, that's just wonderful. <laughs> Another thing I have to worry about, I'm not thinking negatively enough. Oh! <laughs> I've been looking all over for these. It would have been nice to find them before my car was repoed. That's it for now. We'll see you next time on Week Bite. I'm the luckiest!